Hello, this video is to help you with your special lesson for investigating careers. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the steps to make sure you know everything you need to do for this assignment. The main goal of this activity is for you to explore a great resource that you're going to use throughout high school and it's called School Links. Um, if you plan to go to college, your college applications, your senior year will actually be linked in School Links. Um, and I send your college's information um, about school, okay? So it is important that you familiarize yourself with this website. Um, but it's also a great tool if you're in a place where you're like, I have no idea what I wanna do in my life, which honestly, you don't really need to know what you want to do for the rest of your life yet, but it is a good time for you to start thinking about that. Okay, so that's the purpose of the activity. What you're going to end up doing is you're going to do a find your path activity, which um, is essentially a career pathways questionnaire, okay? And then you're going to end up researching colleges or careers that you're interested in, okay? Um, what you are going to turn in is screenshots or maybe um, a Google document. I suggest maybe putting the screenshots onto a Google document, um, but please turn it in through a Cellus, okay? So um, rather than emailing your teacher, okay? It's just easier to make sure that you get it graded if it's turned it through a Cellus. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is you're going to log into School Links. Let me log out of here so I can show you. So once you click on the link in your special lesson, you're going to get to a login screen. You can put in your information. It's the same as all your other logins, your email and your ID number, but it's probably easier if you just go log in with Google and then select your school email login. Okay, my school links looks a little bit different than what yours will look like. Um, I'm going to demo as a 10th grade student. The first time that you ever log in to School Links, it actually goes straight to your Find Your Path activity, okay? And it's gonna start asking you questions. Um, so you, if you've ever logged into this before, you very possibly have already done it, okay? Notice that there's some quick links here that you can utilize, but there's also over here on the left, um, a guide and a menu for everything in School Links, okay? Um, it's kind of busy, but there's a lot of, there's also like throughout the school year, Hood River Valley High School has school events like colleges that come visit. And this is a place that you can see when colleges are at the high school. If you, if you know, if U of O is there visiting and you want to go talk to a U of O rep, it'll be here. Okay. Um, if you don't immediately get taken to the find your path activity you're going to go to activities on the left you're going to go to assessments and you can find it here start assessment it asks you questions like you're most comfortable when decisions can be easily changed that is me i i like to not be like for sure this has to happen i'm kind of like open-minded to options so i would click yes you usually try not to be the center of attention that also yes that's me i don't like being the center of attention so you get the picture you're going to answer questions and then once you get through the entire thing it's going to like based off of your answers and your personality and things that you value um like for example, you prefer to tell people the truth, even if it would make them feel bad. Eh, I don't know. I'm not into making people feel bad. So I would probably click X. Um, then based off of these values, like I value people's feelings, um, 
it's going to match you with different career paths, okay? Um, once you get your career path, you're going to want to screenshot that career path um, and because you're going to be turning it in. And there's a couple different things, not just a career path, but it might also like um, select different occupations and then school programs. So um, once you kind of explore your results from this, you're going to search search for schools that look interesting. So you can go over here to colleges and you can do a school search or you could go to discover colleges. Um, and if you're not interested in going to college, you're just going to pick one and like it. So like, oh, University of Portland is near me. So I'm going to heart this. This is liking it and putting it on my list of favorites. And then I'm going to take a screenshot that I liked one one college okay but if you're actually more interested in exploring careers um then click on this careers one okay and it's kind of cool because it gives you like um nursing is the number one uh needed job in oregon an rn okay um and so you can explore careers here and on your assignment, you'll just list three careers that look interesting to you. Whoops. Okay. Um, if you have, I totally messed up this map. Oh, I want to show you one thing, in, one more thing in school links. Okay. Whenever you want to see your transcript, your transcript is uploaded to school links. Um, at the end of every term, okay? So you can download your unofficial transcript. You'll click on school and go to transcript requests. You can look at yours at any time, but you can also request me to send your official transcript to um, a school. If you end up playing a sport, um, you can request that there. All right, you go ahead and email me or set up an appointment if you have any questions.